being an ielts coach i often meet students who are not able to dedicate enough time for their preparation maybe because of their personal commitments or some professional commitments and when i was appearing ielts for the very first time i was one of those students only within a week i had to crack my exam and at that time i was in complete panic state i was anxious at how i am going to do that but during that week what i did is i figured out some tips tricks and strategies that actually helped me to attain my desired band in a week there were certain trips of course that didn't work out but certain were actually helpful so in my today's video i'm going to share those tips and tricks with you i'm ritika from ielsmaterial.com and today i will be sharing those tips and tricks that will help you to get your desired band within 10 days so without wasting any time let's get started okay so now i was having at that time 10 days to prepare for my exam precisely 7 days because initial 2 3 days i just wasted in exploring more about ielts there was a plethora of information available online uh, through different sources whatever the information i was getting but in the end i realized it is making me even more confused so what should i do now so what i did is rather than wasting a lot of time i decided why not to take a practice test so that on one hand i will be able to assess myself also i will get to know the exam format so i did the same and this trick actually worked for me and i always recommend to all my students rather than being puzzled with a lot of information that you are having appear a full length practice test now once you have done the practice test the next stage is check your answers so whatever the official answer ki i was having i corrected all my answers and trust me on that in my very first mock test i scored in 20s in listening and reading but i was not disheartened at that time because the purpose of appearing that practice test was not to get a perfect band 8 but i wanted to know the exam format and that i achieved so don't get disheartened with whatever the score you are getting in fact in my opinion this score is giving you the correct direction that how you need to prepare for your exam after assessing my listening and reading and understanding the actual picture of my current situation i was puzzled how to get myself evaluated in writing and speaking and at that time i realized these two specifically are the modules that require professional help so that you can understand where you are lagging behind what are the expectations of the examiner from you so don't refrain yourself and get a professional help and professional help is not like that among 100 students you are the one and you are learning you are not having ample time to do that so go for the assistance and the classes that are providing you one to one sessions likewise we are doing at ielsmaterial.com now you know where you are standing so prepare a time table a regular schedule that you will be following religiously and i did the same i made a time table for myself and for the next 7 days i followed it now i have diagnosed myself i made a time table but during this learning process the entire week what i realized is there are certain things that we need to practice on regular basis while practicing for ielts The very first thing is knowledge of basic grammar. If you are holding a good command over the language, you are aware of all the basic grammar concepts, then it's excellent. If not, then start brushing up your skills from the day one. Learn the basic fundamentals, including tenses, prepositions, correct usage of articles, conjunctions, and different types of sentence formation. I understand in such a short span of time it is next to impossible for anyone to go through the entire study material so what i would recommend you here is start reading online news articles why specific news articles because they are wonderfully written you get to know the beautiful sentence formation along with that you get acquainted with the impressive vocabulary 
And for this, you need not to spare a lot of dedicated time. What you can do is while traveling to your work, you can go through the news articles. Uh, mobile phones are quite handy. You can read it anywhere, right? Or even during your morning strolls or the evening walks, you can do it anytime. You just need to be wise enough how you can use your day-to-day -day activities to practice IELTS. Now, the next thing is you need to find out more and more opportunities to speak in English in your day-to-day -day conversations. For this, there is no need to get puzzles scrolling down your Facebook to find out, you know, random speaking partners. What you can do is you can start speaking in English during the silly banters with your siblings or maybe some official conversations with your colleagues on the car rides with your partner. You can do that. In fact, this is something that I tried and actually helped me a lot to feel confident and natural during my IELTS speaking test. Start conversation in English with your partners, with your colleagues, with your friends, with your peers, with everyone for a week. Just speak in English. On one hand, I made those small exercises part of my daily routine. Simultaneously, I was practicing module wise. So for listening and reading, what I did is first, I understood the different types of questions that we get in IELTS listening and reading and figured out the tips and strategies that helped me to rule out the scope of errors. For instance, using process of elimination in case of multiple choice questions. If you want to know those tips and tricks, then don't forget to refer our videos that we have made where our IELTS experts provided you the tips and tricks that will help you to crack the exam. Another thing that is very important while practicing listening and reading is never ever close any of the tests just after scoring. Why? Because uh, suppose if you get 28 in listening now, okay, you got 28, but it's high time to understand why you didn't get the correct answers for the remaining questions. This would be the self evolution process. You will understand yourself the different types of mistakes you are making. For some, it can be because of distractors. For some, it can be the accent and for others, it can be the paraphrased content, right? So once you will rehear the audio, then you will understand what kind of mistakes you are doing. Another crucial thing is understand the scoring criteria. Sometimes what happens if the students are getting closely relatable answers, they score them as full. But when they are appearing the real test, they don't get that man. So always be specific when you are correcting your answers and listening and reading. Make sure that your answers should be grammatically correct. You are following the instructions. If the question says no more than two words, then one word or two word, not more than that. If you're not following the instructions, then you will not get the band. Your answers, your spellings should be correct. So always take care of these small things while correcting your answers. Lastly, for listening and reading, I would recommend you to at least practice five tests for listening as well as reading tests so that you can hold the command over the test before appearing the real exam. Now it's time to practice writing and speaking for these two modules. First of all, what I would recommend you to do is go through the available public descriptors. These descriptors includes the rubrics on which your writing and your speaking is assessed. These rubrics will give you a broader understanding of the actual expectations of examiners, what they actually expecting from you to do in writing and in speaking. Once you have understood all the descriptors, now it's time to understand the different nature of questions, especially in essays and the different requirements for different parts of speaking test so that you can incorporate those public descriptors in your answers in order to get the best possible band. Now it's time to read the sample answers. Inculcate this habit. Start reading sample answers so that you can understand the exact format that you need to follow while writing the essays or doing your writing task one. You can visit our website ielsmaterial.com to go through different samples. In fact, you can watch our short videos on YouTube where we have provided certain useful phrases and vocabulary that will help you to boost your band in your writing as well as in speaking. One thing which is extremely important while preparing for your writing and your speaking is 
acquiring the knowledge about subject related vocabulary yes it is must what i would recommend you is make sticky notes yes there are some broader categories uh, you know such as parenting internet technology or uh, environment wildlife these kind of broader categories we usually get in speaking and in writing so prepare some subject related vocabularies and make sticky notes stick those notes the place where you are spending most of your time be it in your kitchen in your office desk on your study table wherever you are spending most of the time stick those notes there so that every now and then you are looking at those words one of the most challenging thing for many of the students in writing and speaking is idea generation yes so i will tell you that how i sorted this out uh what i used to do is whenever i was getting any topic in speaking or writing i always tried to relate those topics their impact actually on few broader categories such as how that particular topic will impact the individual the society country wildlife or environment usually whatever the topics you get they revolve around these broad categories so always try to relate the topic that you get on the basis of these categories and trust me on this you will be having the ample ideas or ample content to draft your essay or to present an impressive answer in your ielts speaking apart from these things one of the most important thing to be considered is time management it is very important for you so while preparing always keep a note of like how long you are taking to complete your reading test whether you are able to complete your writing test in 55 minutes so that 5 minutes we can use for revision so always take care of this thing and focus on time management last is practice practice is the key to crack your exam now for practice i would definitely recommend you to opt for the official mock test because definitely you're not having that much time to carry on with the uh, you know so many classes so these mock tests will help you to get the personalized feedbacks so that you can improve you get to know what things you need to add in your writing or in your speaking or in listening or reading how you can improve we at ielts material providing the detailed feedback mock test if you want then you can opt to those services i will share all the links in the description box so this is it from my side for today i hope you found this video helpful and will try to follow the same schedule while practicing apart from the mock test that we are offering you can also go for our ebooks where you will get detailed information and ample practice tests that are equivalent to real ielts test for your practice now you can follow us on instagram as well if you want to know the details of the most comprehensive ielts courses that we are offering at ieltsmaterial.com then do check the description box thank you